newest and I would say most coolest Amazon purchase, we're gonna do a fun makeup challenge. So what are we doing for brows? I've labeled all different types of brows. 2016 brows. Well, I would say I'm an expert. I was not a victim of pomade brows, but I was a victim of the super large, almost touching 2016 powder brows. Maybe if you don't believe me, here's all the proof that you could need. This feels so nostalgic, but in the worst way possible. I can also testify that um, they were definitely sisters, not twins. As you can tell, I'm not filling the brows, but let's see what we're gonna get for primer. Okay, and since I picked out skincare, I'm gonna use the MAC Hyper Real Serum. This is like one of my favorite things to use as a primer. That's not a primer. Next up for foundation, I have different finishes as well as like coverage. Okay, so it looks like we got matte. Personally, I'm already a matte girly. I would definitely say the NARS Soft Matte Foundation is one of my most matte foundations, so. And y'all, I don't know how long I've had this, but I'm literally almost out. Now let's see what we're gonna get for concealer so we can also fix up these brows a little bit. Medium coverage. I would say my most true medium coverage is actually the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer. And I'm literally almost out of this one as well. For bronzers, we have the option of like matte, cream, powder, liquid. So let's see what our option is. And of course you could tell I left some out because I didn't have an option and we're going with liquid. I've actually really been liking this Imco Beauty liquid bronzer. It does look a little dark. So I just start with, that was a little too much. But what are we getting for blush? Powder blush. My newest powder blush yet from MAC, and I've been dying to have this color called Petal Power. Let's see what she looks like on. Okay, this shade is everything. It's got just a little bit of like a gold highlight to it. Don't forget to comment below what makeup challenges I should do next with my new Wheel of Fortune. For powder, I only have like three types of powders, so we're going to actually do it by brand this time. Cody Airspun, one of my favorites lately. I used to use this all the time in high school, and recently I just went back, and honestly, it's such a hit. Okay, I can only think of a few like eyeshadow ideas such as like colorful, half cut crease, you know, etc. So try again. Oh my gosh. I'm me annoyed at the own selection I put on here. A full cut crease. I haven't done a full on blown cut crease in forever. Honestly, I'm not going to drag y'all through a full on cut crease tutorial, but baby three, two, one. Okay, and I'm back. And as you can tell, I haven't done a sunset makeup color vibe in a minute. And it shows. But baby, I never forget how to do a clean cut crease. Pretty much how I went about it is I did some with lip liners and lipstick choices and then some with none. And yeah, so let's spin it and see what we get. It looks like it's this guy, which is just a liquid lipstick on its own. Honestly, I'm not super mad about it because baby, I can't wait to take these brows off. I can't wait. So I'm honestly just gonna pick randomly through my collection. Uh, Too Faced Melted matte liquid lipstick it's a really pretty color but on its own i don't know yeah she definitely pairs up better with a lip liner but mm. okay and here's the final look do i feel bonita no do i look bonita also no huge no the only thing i kind of dig about this face is probably the base that's okay because this was super fun and let me know what other challenges i should do with my new will of fortune